Whoa, you made it! New week, new you, because I'm playing Prudes on a whole new level. The things you're about to witness throughout and at the end of this video will make you a better Prudes player and reach Palladium more easily with all the heroes in the game. So let's get going. Why Bruce? Well, Bruce is an extremely fast champion, and you can pick any fast champion such as Fumiko, Mythos, Paige, Brady, or Bruce of course, but these champions can navigate the map quickly and make sure you get all the gold you can possibly get. The faster you do it, the stronger you are, and the weaker the enemies become. The best part of it all, that was just tip number one. So in one minute, you became better already. Let's go. Ten minutes. Here we go. Nani? Oh my god, easy. You can't beat me when I'm on Bruce. I told you, all the knowledge you could want, make sure you join the Moon Empire by subbing down below and make sure you turn on the bell so you never miss any of all the tasty goodness that's going up on the channel. As soon as I crossed the wall, the Elbus released his skill, but unfortunately the timing was a little bit off so we did not end up with one or two more kills. That is very unfortunate, but as I say, we have to move on. We gotta let it go. We just gotta keep on playing, we gotta get better at the game, and the only way to do it is by playing heroes that can get gold really, 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 really fast. <laughs> it's just so important. You need to be on top of everything. Unless, of course, you want to play more of a supportive role. In that case, you can let the others farm, you can let the heroes that are going to carry the game, the people that actually wanna, you know, be the best at what they do, you can let them do it. But not us, not the Moon Empire. The Moon Empire wants to win themselves. I don't wanna be any kind of dead weight. I don't wanna be sandbag. I wanna be the one that is actually dominating the game. And therefore, we have the second tip, so that you can reach there. Palladium faster. And this may sound really simple, Hold on, let's let's finish the team fight first. Here we go. Page, easy. Let's go. Tip number two is play. You just, hey, don't interrupt me like that. Get him. Do, maybe I'm just going to make way too many kills to really do anything here. Nice triple kill right there. Let's go. Bruce is amazing. Second tip is play the game. I don't care if you are too afraid to play the game. You need to play. I've seen people with a thousand matches and because of the way the system is designed, they reached Palladium. That's just the way it goes. This wolf will not go down. That's just the way it goes. So, un unlike many, you don't want to go into the normal games unless you're looking to troll around. You no, just messing around. You Maybe you reach Palladium already, you just want to play your favorite champions that are always banned, like Levi, I'm looking at you. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Oh! Get one! Get another! Oh, this hero is too good! I'm telling you, people have been sleeping on Bruce Lee! As I said, Paige is good as well. Paige just took a double as well. Ours was a little bit more skillful, I have to say. But, make sure you play. I don't care. What I usually do is I play three matches today. If I lose two in a row, the third one doesn't even get a shot. If I win all three, I'm going to keep on playing until I lose. And that way I'm reaching Palladium way faster and my win rate increases as well. But I will talk about that in a different video. That, that's why you need to sub to the channel, man. I'm not messing around. Oh, where are my teammates? The Solus is taking a detour. Everybody is low, but the... Does he survive? Lubu actually lives there? Oh, that is rough. Oh, come on, get him, get him! Yeah, easy! The third tip I have for you that will make you a stronger all-round Heroes Evolve player is main a role. It doesn't matter whether it's a tank, an off-tank, a mage or a ranger, as long as you become the best you can in that class. Master like four heroes of a class and one in each other role and you will see amazing improvement. Me for an example, I play Bruce, I play Astrid, I play Paige, and I play Fumiko. That's it. Those are the main champions for me. Of course, I make YouTube videos, so I need to rotate it a little bit. I mean, I release videos on new skins, I release videos on everything, 
But those are the champions that I like to roll when I go into... Oh, come on. You have no clue how hard it is to do this at the same time. <laughs> Get it! Let's go! Come on! The shield is so good. Oh, there's the page. There's the ulti. And page just kills three? No, no, no. Right? Two, maybe. Oh, my God. Look, that's my other main champion. We're in a battle here. But <laughs> let's try and get on their nerves by posing the question mark. <laughs> awesome stuff. What a game so far. Oh my god, I did not expect it to look this good, but the Bruce is such an amazing champion. The shield on him is just so good every single time. It doesn't matter what situation you're in, the shield is just carrying you through all of these situations. It is amazing. Also, at the moment, things start to look iffy. You can just dash out. Look, the double dash is amazing. That was just a single one. Why is this not spawning? Did I, did, did I mistime it? Oh, now it spawns just as I cross the wall, of course. Look, that's another thing. If you really, really are serious about becoming a better player, you might jump into a match without players, check out when the minions reach the middle of the wave, around 30 seconds. You want to check out when the minions leave the base at 32 seconds. Those are all things that I know in the back of my mind. I know that the middle wave reaches the middle earlier than the side waves reach the middle of the side. That's just things that I know. And you can know them too by spending 5 minutes in practice. That's all it takes. But that's up to you. I know that some people don't like that. Some people don't want to, you know, they're just playing for fun, but they want to become better. So they're not really committing. But you, in the Moon Empire, you are definitely one of those players that will commit. You will. All right. Tip number five that can make you a better player is learn the dang item system. Every single time I see this, an enemy is building the butterfly wings and you are the only one to notice then you build the metronome staff. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you probably need to study the items a bit more. I think that you can win at least 5% more matches if you build the necessary items next to the core items of your hero. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Save him. Oh, he, she missed the ulti. Look, that's difficult to aim. Well, it's not, it's a dang long thing. <laughs> that's what she said, but she missed it and then you're not gonna get kills something so easy to hit you just gotta hit it okay control immune we are out of here three enemies a little bit too much solace don't make the mistake get out i was just you know checking it out checking the waters tip number six that i have for you guys is be patient a nice quick kill is awesome but don't rush your team into a bad situation so don't initiate the team fight too early also the next game you play what I want you to do is not die within the first three minutes. Can we agree to that? It is unbelievable how many games are actually decided within the first two or three minutes. So play it smart, play it cool, let them die, uh, don't be a fool. <laughs> Little rhyme, never hurt nobody. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. The page, I, I have a little bit of competition with the page here, I feel. Alright, alright, you ready for the next one? The next tip I have for you is learn how the pick and ban system works. Hold on. Let's go. Easy kill. Eight kills already. Two deaths only. Six assists. Amazing game so far. Learn the pick and ban system. There are, there are heroes that are more essential than others. So if you want to become a better mobile player, you do not want to lose your game as soon as you go into picks and bans. And half of them are lost in picks and bans. So, Teams that are unbalanced or lack control or push, they have little chance versus these five members of the enemy team that all have these push and crowd control capabilities. You want to lock down these champions for your team and you want to pick the best champion out of that pool because as I told you, you're probably now maining a role. You've decided one role that you want to main, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is. Those are the tips that I had for you today. Let's finish this gameplay. Make sure you watch until the end because there's some awesome, awesome plays coming up. Keep it going. Come on. Oh, you're still there. What are you thinking, dude? 
You can't shut me down. I'm part of the Moon Empire. You can't shut me down. Let's go. If you if you're still sleeping on this hero and you see a Tori dash into certain death like that, that was the moment to wake up. That was the moment where everybody realized that Bruce is too good. Let's get it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. E. C. Easy, come on. Of course, you know that in Picks and Bands, I banned Penguin, and that actually gave us this amazing mythos on our team. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! It's a game! EZ! You are now a better player! You are now awesome! You will never lose again! <laughs> well, that might not be true because there are bad teammates, but you are now a better player! With these 7 tips you have now officially become a better player than you were already. Thank you so much for checking it out. I got two more awesome videos up for you if you really want to, you know, continue your journey or just have some, you know, good old fashioned fun. Check out the video on the right. The left one is an additional one, but I suggest the right one.